So I want to talk to you guys today about iron deficiency and anemia, the top reasons why you get it and how to fix it. So ferritin and blood iron are a little bit different. Blood iron measures how much iron you have in your blood at the time, where ferritin is a protein that actually stores your iron so that when your body needs it later on, it can provide it. But if your ferritin and your blood iron are both low, you're probably going to be anemic because you just don't have enough iron to keep producing those red blood cells like they should. So if you're eating a lot of processed foods, refined carbs, lots of sugar, that's going to deplete your levels and it's going to make it so much harder for you to keep your iron stores up. So the number one reason for being iron deficient or anemic would be not eating enough iron rich foods. And I know in today's world that's becoming harder and harder because there's so many of the foods that we eat today that have really little to no nutritional value. So that's why it's so important to eat as healthy as possible, eat lots of iron rich foods, foods with lots of vitamins and minerals, because if you're not, it's going to be so much harder to keep your iron levels up. Reason number two would be kidney disease. And the reason for that is because your kidneys produce a certain hormone that tells your body to make red blood cells. Now, when your kidneys are failing, they can't produce enough, which can lead to anemia. Reason number three would be certain medications, things like aspirin and anti-inflammatory drugs. If you take those for a long time or a lot of them, they can have side effects where they cause gastrointestinal bleeding. Also, taking too many antacids and certain antibiotics can cause you to become iron deficient as well. Reason number four would be bleeding. So if you're having things like heavy menstrual periods, fibroids, stomach ulcers, hemorrhoids, colon cancer, and even chronic nosebleeds, they can all lead to you losing a lot of your iron stores. So definitely if you're dealing with any of those bleeding issues, make sure you're upping your iron either through iron rich foods or through a good iron supplement. Reason number five would be gut issues. And this one is a big one that not really a lot of people really know about. And the reason for that is if you're having things like constant diarrhea, chronic constipation, if you have leaky gut syndrome, then your body really can't absorb the iron properly, especially if you've been taking a lot of antacids. And if you have really low stomach acid, then your stomach just can't break down that iron like it needs to. And then when your gut isn't working properly, it can't absorb the iron like it should. So you could be taking a whole bunch of iron supplements and not really getting anywhere because your gut is messed up. So if you're having gut issues, you really need to focus on fixing that because you're going to have issues with iron absorption and absorption of a lot of other vitamins and minerals. Reason number six would be pregnancy. And now I know there's so many women that struggle with this. I know I did. And it's because those prenatal pills, I really don't believe they have enough to help you with your iron needs that you need during pregnancy. Because when you're pregnant, that baby is taking so much from you. And a lot of women have to take an extra iron supplement when they're pregnant. And the extra iron supplements, they're really hard on your body. For me, it caused really bad constipation and it really upset my stomach. So I did a lot of research and through a lot of trial and error, I found this really nice plant-based iron that's made out of moringa leaves and fruits and vegetables. And oh my, what a difference. It really helped my iron stores go up in a really good time. I felt so much better, no constipation, no stomach issues. So if any of you pregnant ladies out there are having that same issue with low iron, I will definitely link in the description below the iron that I took. So if you want, you can take it as well because I know that's a really big issue during pregnancy. Number seven would be bariatric surgery, weight loss surgery. And the reason for that is if you've ever had the weight loss surgery, I think there's two or three of them that really cut out a decent portion of your small intestine. 
you're going to have issues absorbing iron. The reason for that is because your small intestine is actually the main part of your body that absorbs your vitamins and minerals. So if you're missing a bunch of that, you're going to have issues. And like I said about the pregnancy one, you're definitely going to have to supplement when you've had one of those weight loss surgeries. So take that plant-based iron. It'll work so much better, so much faster, and you'll feel so much better. Reason number eight would be a vitamin deficiency in either B12 or folate. And the reason for that is because those are very helpful for the body to produce red blood cells. So when you don't have enough of those, you might not be able to produce enough red blood cells, which can lead to low iron and anemia. So say you're a vegetarian and you're not really eating any meat, you're probably going to struggle with this a bit more. And even if you are taking a B12 supplement, you can still struggle a little bit in this area because your body has a harder time absorbing supplements than it does the B12 from foods like meats. Reason number nine would be inflammation. So if you're dealing with things like chronic inflammation and other things like cancer, HIV, AIDS, rheumatoid arthritis, kidney disease, and even Crohn's disease, those all cause chronic inflammation as well, causing your body to not be able to produce enough red blood cells, which lead to low iron and anemia. Reason number 10 would be a low immune system. And what happens there is your immune system, when it's low, it actually attacks your healthy red blood cells, leading to low iron and anemia. So how to fix the problem? Now, I know a lot of these issues that I mentioned are a work in progress, where you're figuring out what to do and how to heal your body. But in the meantime, while you're doing that, what you need to do is really focus on eating a good diet full of iron-rich foods. So if you're eating meat, lots and lots of meats like beef, chicken, and even certain types of fish are really good in iron. Liver is fantastic for iron, but only eat that once or twice a week. And then other things like green leafy vegetables are really great for iron, beans, pulses, chickpeas. There's quite a lot out there that can really help you up your iron. Also, when you're taking all this iron, don't have calcium at the same time. There's a clash between iron and calcium. And when you're taking calcium at the same time, then your body won't absorb the iron nearly as well. Also, vitamin C. Vitamin C is fantastic for helping your body to absorb that iron. So say if you're taking iron supplements as well, take vitamin C with it. Fresh squeezed orange juice, a glass of lemon juice, fantastic for helping your body absorb that iron and break it down and get into your body much better. Like I said before, if you are taking an iron supplement, and I know many of us absolutely need to, try and take a plant-based one because it works so much better, it's so much easier on the body, the body absorbs it so much better, and you'll feel so much better with it as well. So those are the top reasons for low iron and anemia and what you can do to fix it. And I hope if you follow these tips correctly, you'll start to feel so much better really soon.